In this video I will explain the menu and menu items. Uh, let me pull this to a more center position. So the first one is the, are the still and single animations. So slow is, I'll show you in here. So, and if I make this to uh, pathfinding on, we do that in the in the configuration. Basically, we come to here, and the slow one we mix pathfinding on, and we set this to custom loop because actually this we're gonna put this one, this path, copy here and paste here. And you have to set your own path. Basically, you just set your path by putting uh, blocks on, on the ground and then just getting their lo uh, coordinations and putting them in here uh, with uh, X, Y, Z coordination. And they have to be separated with, uh, with comma. And also the brackets has, has to be, have to be separated with comma as well. So um, this is the, this, uh, one is basically a, a simple circle around the around the yard, um, and I'll make this all of them. These at least these four of them on the run is run is on, and then the this one and jump. Well, run and jump should be off. Okay, so others and this one is on too. <coughs> And when you press save, as you can see in here, um, it takes about um, about 36, 20 seconds to 30 seconds to uh, read the file. You shouldn't do anything in between. And you'll see the percentage of it as it goes on. <clears throat> and once it is done, and then basically press the slow, and then it goes to this position, starts and rotate, and then um, walks around the yard in a circle direction and we just let's go to slow mode of course and let's say you want this to start from here instead of starting from here and in that case we can just put our put our horse just basically here and but for this one let's just make an ideal animation first okay and then just basically in that case, if you want this to start from this point exactly, instead of walking to there, we have to go to configuration file, okay? Set this to off first, okay? And then save. And then I'll just pause the video so that uh, the reading would finish in here. Okay, now because reading is finished now, we can go to uh, press the slow one and it's on spot now so basically turn it around bring it here and we want it to start right from here so once we do that we go to settings and we set the anima animation set animation position so this now this animation will always start from here so if you want this to <clears throat> if you set a global position that means if an animation doesn't have a, a locate a, a private position like this one then all of them are, are going to play on the global position or will start from the global position. So if you want to assign this one back to global position, then you, pr you uh, press the clear and that uh, clears it is, uh, it is position, it is private position. So now we open our note card again and we set this to on again. On. Okay, and <clears throat> press save, and then again, I'll pause the video so that uh, it will read the note card. Okay, now it is set, we're just gonna press this slow, and it is gonna start right from this position. Just Let's just test this with normal. Normal will start from here because it, it doesn't have a private position and only global position. Let's press the slow. As we press the slow, now it starts right from here, and it will go around the yard. So we can go to run 
and then run goes to there. Again, you can change it to private position in the same manner you changed it. We changed the slope position. Run fast is the same. Okay, and then run and jump is on the same spot line. That's important. Now, when you receive this, this will not be uh, in that uh, position. You need to actually set it up yourself. Basically, just play with it with the position and the rotation and then just come to settings and set press uh, set anim position and that anim position is related to the to the next animation which is stand up so basically you need a little bit to trial and error for both of them and each of them when you set a new position and rotation you need to come to here and press the set anim position so walk back is a uh, here that's taking its position from global. If you like, you can just, if you want this to play in here, you just can pull this here and put it here and then come to here and set an in position. So now next time, if you go to, let's say line in here, and if we press walk back, it's gonna start from there. But let's say we want to clear this back to it is global position. And then we just clear this one. And then if you come to here line again, and if you pr press walk back, now it's going to go to global position. The rest of the animations are these ones. This is a hoof skip. Basically, we made every animations we could for this one. So, you know, you may use all of them or you may not. You may not need some of them. So it just uh, depends on you. The, this one is eating in a different position with a, with a food in front of it. And that has a prop in it. So basically you can actually set a horse with a prop, any, any prop you can think of. In that case, we are using the hay as prop. So idle back in this position, wait in idle one and idle two. And buck in. Buck in bucking situation, the it is set to random, uh, random with the radius of a few meter, so it keeps moving around. And the rear up, kick front, and angry. The next one is the place that it is for you uh, to create your own animation sequences. You can virtually create anything you like with the animations given in here. You can create combina combinations of these, which were shown in another video uh, previous to that. So basically there are two set up with it in, with it in here. You'll receive these uh, settings as a sample and you can change the positions to your positions and animations to your animations if you like. Well, in that case, let me do it again and probably some a few settings went off because I'm playing on the tester but normally this should start from here come to here turn around jump and jump from here and then rest like that of course you can write on onto it a little early but that that's normally not like that a few settings went off it's just a little bit requires fine tuning like increasing the number of seconds and increase and decrease the number of seconds. Okay, the second one is just uh, wandering around and it can actually go wait, eat and stop and then go on, etc., etc. That's that's randomly set up. It'll go and then wait a little bit and then after a while it'll walk a little more. Could be actually this one could be here looking at this horse and then going around trying to find the food and maybe there it's going to start grazing and so on and so forth you can of course create uh, more animations more animation sequences uh, using uh, these slots they're all empty they, are, they will all be empty so you can actually create your own stories uh, using these slots the next one is the settings of course, when you the first thing first, when you uh, buy, buy your horse, you need to give your horse a proper name. And once you give, let's say in this case, this is called Julius. 
and then if you press the select horse you'll see Julius is listed in there if you want to change if you want this hood to affect Julius if there are more than one horses then you have to select Julius and this test horse or and in that case we select test horse and the next one we this is, or these uh, these have been already shown in while I was showing these videos so I'll pass this part rider position if you ride on it of course the right rider position will be affected being female male etc these things and at the moment it's re really off so some settings a little bit off on this horse so basically you press the position in here and then you just let's say you go left left a little bit more and maybe to back a little bit back one and I'll be satisfied for for now with that and once you do that you can of course change rotation in the same manner as well with the axis like basically uh, Y turn this way Y this this way and Z this way this way well maybe this is double of course double more increase and decrease but these are the axes X Y and Z axes so basically it's bit, uh, it is same like position and and pretty much self-explanatory and the next one is the stop that stops the all, all animation and brings back to um, it is home position default global position reset if you if you experience any problems um, if some if things goes wrong this could be your actually uh, last resort if you press the reset it resets everything all the scripts and the hood etc so bring it back to a fact factory uh, settings the other thing is you can make the set on and off from here and you can change the colors and then and the, the next thing and last two things I'm going to show you if I go a little far you can make the call and the horse will walk to there and of course you can press follow if you press follow and if you start walking the horse will will start walking with you and this one in here it just minimize the and maximize the button